Alright guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own little 3D logo in Adobe After Effects, or not Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop and Cinema 40. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm using a Cin I'm I'm using a Adobe After or Adobe Photoshop CS3. I'm sorry guys. Uh, you guys can use CS4, or CS5, doesn't matter. Um, and I'm gonna be making a quick little logo. You guys obviously can make whatever you want, but I'm just gonna be doing this really fast. So just to show you how to do it. So what you're gonna do is go to File and New, obviously, and it doesn't matter for the width and height. I just have seven and five, and then just hit OK. It's the, uh, the basic one, and we'll wait for this to load. Oh my God, it's taking forever. All right, um, so now that it's loaded, what you want to do is just go over to the paint bucket tool, and this is what I do: um, just change the color to black, and paint bucket it black. And then, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and pretty much draw out what you want in your or for your logo. So I'm just gonna do something really quick and get right back to you guys. All right, guys, I'm back, and all I did here was. Uh, was just change this color back to white and then go to the brush tool right here and make the brush a circle and just go ahead and click around to get this um, obviously it's not the best work but um, that is just to get you know on with the tutorial and show you guys so after you're done with that after you're done with that uh, drawing out your tutorial or your your logo and everything what you're gonna want to do is come down to the pen tool and you're gonna click and hold and go to the freeform pen tool and then make sure to check magnetic and um, you're just gonna click around the whole uh, logo and um, and you know just draw around the whole logo so once I'm done with that I'll get right back to you guys alright guys so as you can see I did that really fast um, I'm actually probably just going to fast forward that part because I checked the magnetic tool and when there's a black surface on a white surface it'll go around the black or white surface very quickly and so that just shows that um, it outlined my logo um, very fast and I know it's not the best I just made it really quickly for this tutorial so once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and hit file and export and you're going to go to export as the path as paths to illustrator and go ahead and save that to your desktop and name it uh, logo okay so once you're done with that you can just hit save and then um, you can save it I guess if you want um, but now you're done with the uh, Photoshop part what you're gonna do is Go to start and open up your Cinema 4D. Now I have to run mine as administrator, um, but you guys might not have to. So once you get your Cinema 4D open, which mine is taking a bit of time to load right now. All right. So once you get your Cinema 4D open, you're gonna go over here to File and go to Open, and make sure it's on your desktop where you saved it, and then go to Logo.ai and hit Open and make this scale one and okay and as you can see here you'll see your logo um, obviously mine is not the best um, because I just made it really quickly for the tutorial but so yeah um, obviously it's not 3d right now it's just a bunch of lines um, so what you're gonna go or what you're gonna do is come over here to the little circular thing inside the square and click and hold that and let go on extrude nerves and then drag the logo up onto the extrude nerves and there you go you will have your 3d little uh, object here or logo and what I'd like to do after that is go over here to the little squiggly line go to text and add something like visual or something like that along the lines of that make it a bit smaller drag it up here I think that's good. Uh, we can drag it out a little bit because it's going to be 3D. And after that, you're going to go ahead and hit extrude nerves again and drag the text onto the extrude nerves. And uh, we're going to back it out a little bit. 
And I think we're going to have to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to make it about 50. Yeah, 50 is good. And there you go. And then all you got to do after that is um, align it up perfectly. And go ahead and add some materials. Just double click down here for to add a new material. I'll make it red and add a little reflection onto it. And then drag it onto here. Um, whoopsies, gotta drag it onto here. Um, actually, my computer's being very slow. Alright, there we go. As you can see, that's red now. And then you can go ahead and um, create another new material. And after you've created that, just go ahead and double click on that uh, and make the text whatever color you want. I will, whoopsies, go to color and make that black and add a reflection, make the reflection white and put it at about 18%. I think that's good. So, after you're done with that, just go ahead and add it to the text. And right here. And then, <coughs> and then render it out. And there you go. There's your little 3D logo. Uh, obviously, it is not the best. Um, and I'll bring it over here. We can actually, we can actually do a little more. Um, we can come up here to the light and hit floor. And go ahead and drag the floor backwards. Uh, if I can get this, okay. And then go to the rotation tool. Oh, whoopsies. Undo that. Go to the rotation tool. Why is it doing this? And. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. Go to the rotation tool. And rotate it uh, about 90 degrees. And I'm looking on the bottom right hand side of this. Okay. Nine, negative 90 degrees because I was turning it the wrong way because it was being weird. Alright, so now that you've got your floor, you can bring it up a little more. But right there. And you don't really need it aligned because it, it's unlimited space. So after that, we can add a new material. Make the color of this white. Definitely add a little reflection. Uh... Make that about 19%. My computer is being very slow right now. I have no idea why. Alright, after that, just go ahead and add that to that. And then go ahead and create a light. And drag the light back behind the, the logo that you created. And make the shadow, shadow map soft. And there you go. Uh, once rendered out, it might take a little while because my computer is being slow. Alright, there we go. Now you have your, your little 3D logo. Um, maybe if you wanted to zoom it in a little and show it from a side perspective to make it obvious that it's 3D, you could go ahead and do that. So. Thanks for watching guys, this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a little 3D logo. Uh, you can maybe make it as a watermark on your videos or, you know, turn it into some crazy intro. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, hope this helped, and uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace guys.